Okay, so I am just gonna go ahead and hop into this. This match is in progress. This should still be game one, though. It's uh, Dr. Z versus Kama. With two different players. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting matchup. Oh, here, could you uh, get a little bit closer to the mic? You're pretty quiet. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to... I was leaning forward. Nah, no worries. I'm, I was past my mic. It was, I was too close. Oh, gotcha. I was in front of where it actually picks up. Oh. Yeah, so having just uh, played this matchup, yeah. what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, yeah. well, it's, it's... I mean, I have not been a fan of the matchup for a long time. Because the way Marth has to play, it's not that he has a disadvantage, but it's a very particular style that is... It forces uh, you to kind of change your game plan rather than yeah. run it. Yeah. Because Marth isn't used to a character being as comfortable in the air as Puff. I, mm -hmm. so for me, I like a very grounded style of Marth. I like the ground game. When the characters like Peach and Puff and they take to the skies and they have the floats and lightning fast drift in and out with back airs, it totally throws me off and my brain doesn't handle it well. For the most part. And... But other Marths are different. And right now, Shane is looking pretty good. I mean, it's going to be tough for him to eke this out because one back air in the corner here or a bad DI on a forward throw. And that's going to be it. Basically, that's what that's the other thing with the matchup is if Puff catches Marth slipping, bad DI on a throw at mid percents, bad DI on a back air at, at mid percents, early edge guards, rest of setups. She, you know, it's not easy, but she has the tools to get sort of pull a quick one over on Marth. Whereas Marth sure. on Puff, you're going to have play to the get, slow game, right? Yeah, forward air, forward air, down tilt, forward air. Once you get her to around 60, especially on this stage now, uh, sensible counter pick by comma, mm -hmm. then, yeah, once you get her to around 50, 60, you can start to get the kill setups, but they're high execution, quick reaction, DI mix-ups, those down throw, forward throws, they're not easy. They're not easy, but you can get them. I mean, you saw me get some, and there's Kama going for one right there. He needed to pivot on that one, though. I'm not sure if Kama's got those locked down. Yeah, that's those are pretty difficult. Yeah, it comes with the execution barrier for sure. And that's another part of what can make the matchup tough for Mark. The execution has to be there on the pivots. Oh, if you guess get the up really smash, but was that not the strong hit, or was that just too low a percent to even launch? Yeah, I think it's both, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, the strong hit of up smash, it's a pretty small bubble. It's kind of a... Uh, if you look at the hitbox for Marth's up smash, the tipper hitbox at the top of the blade, it's ac it's actually like two bubbles. So like the actual gotcha. center of the sword, the hitbox is a little higher kind of on the left and right sides of the sword. It's kind of weird. It may, may, I mean, there's a chance I'm remembering it wrong, but that's how it feels anyway. I, that sounds right to me. Yeah. But, all right, so Dr. Z cleaning up that stock there. Not willing to get quite lapped. Yeah, I like Shane coming in with the lead. This stage definitely helping him. Stage is pretty big in this match. I mean, just Yoshi being so small and Fountain being, or uh, Dreamland being so big. We'll definitely see Dreamland if Shane manages to close this out. Is he going to go for the up oh, throw? Oh, I think, yeah, I think he wanted it. I think it. he was going for it. I yeah, think so, he was yeah, just for it. one extra pummel. The side B, though, that's the other kill setup you can get, especially around these percents. Puff, though, she can crouch that first hit of side B for a long while. Good dash back there, super tight. Yeah, he's done a couple of the down tilts where I like. I don't think he's even necessarily confirming them. He's just throwing down tilt and backing off, trying to yeah, see what I, Dr. Z is going to do. Like, I'm actually not positive, because it's one of those ephemeral melee things. Uh, where you can never be quite sure if either player is being like frame perfect at any time. But if Marth down tilts another character's shield, it feels like if your timing is impeccable, you can always dash away before they can grab you. Especially with Puff, it's not like she has an amazing grab range. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tight though, and Kama's been hitting them, those dash backs. I mean, you know, we live in the post UCF world now, but still, the down tilt Obviously, a lot of interruptible frames. You gotta know exactly when they start. If you try to dash, 
during the uninterruptible frames, you're gonna get your input eaten and you're not gonna be able to flick that stick back again until it's way too late and you're already getting grabbed back your own edge guard. But that's a great answer for the down air that Kama is always throwing out on his way down. So mm -hmm. much lag, even if you L cancel it, that if you shield it, you're probably gonna get a punish out of shield. That up smash looked like there was nothing he could do. Yeah, there yeah. is a that is one thing that always throws me off about Marth in this game. Um, coming from Marth in Project M, they mm -hmm. just like halved the recovery <gasps> on his down air. Yeah, the down air in this game it can be awkward for sure. Ooh, but yeah, ducks the grab, no rest, but that could have been it right there if he was confident. Yeah. Always scary. Shield grab is that? That was, oh. was that the most genius play of all time. Did he light shield on purpose so he could shield grab whatever Doctor Z tried to do there? He does it oh, again. He was oh, he was lower on the slope there, so he knew he could grab for sure. Yeah, these are some miraculous shield grabs right now. Oh, and the DI. Yep, cleans it up. One one. That's impressive. Shame. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so next level. Yeah, that's pretty hot stuff. I like this. Okay, so 1-1, one, one. Jigglypuff Marth. I'm going to hop on my mobile hotspot. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Because I'm feeling that I'm between red and green. Okay. And yeah, um, so like you were saying, Dreamland coming in here. Not a big surprise by any means. Even yeah, uh, ignoring good. everything else, just the fact that... Jigs can hit Marth far enough that he can't recover, but doesn't, you know, outright die. And the opposite is definitely not true. Yeah, Puff is, uh, all, if she doesn't die off the blast zone, she's basically going to always have at least a mix-up to get back. Like, a, a really good shot to get back. Marth's going to have to take some risk to try to end her. And usually, you know, they'll try to play it safe and play the slower game. Okay, setting up for something. I like that tipper yeah, spacing. Puff. He went for really the little that. delay to be like, "Hey, are you gonna do? Are you gonna drop your shield now?" But yeah. Doctor Z not taking the bait. I'm sure they've uh, seen that timing mix up plenty of times before, so you got to give him a reason to move. Yeah, but keep the eyes open next time because Puff couldn't do much about that on shield. But if Doctor Z had rolled in right there, it, it could have been a straight up rest. Could have been mm -hmm. scary. True. Uh-oh, again, not the best DI on the fourth throw. That uh, upbeat kind of saving his life there. Okay, there, there's kind of what I'm talking about. Shane taking some risks to try to get close out the stock, and there he gets it. That was barely enough. Right in the corner pocket, Puff, the magic eight ball herself. <laughs> and early F smashes, too. Kama likes them. Yeah, they do a decent chunk of percent, but yeah, at lower percents, the risk-reward is generally not in your favor for them. Yeah, generally not, but you could say maybe Dr. Z is just not expecting it because of that. It's the double mine game. True, true. This has been big money in the corner for Dr. Z. I am amazed how many times he's gotten back right there. I feel yeah. like Kama should have been dead three times. <laughs> Dr. Z definitely let him live on that last one especially. And again, the light shield. Shane... The intentional light shields, they are impressive right now. In a little right upper slice tipper hitbox. Yeah, that inward, <laughs> that inward hitbox. You know, Thomas said that he wanted a rematch against against Spider Jew, and right now it looks like he might be coming for it. Yeah, dead. Yeah, right now they're dead even. One back. game apiece, two stocks, almost zero percent. Kama, he's a, he's an ambitious player, and I like it. Sure. Always fun to watch. Uh oh. Yeah, that was a very scary situation. I feel like an up tilt there could have just been death. Yeah. I think if Kama, if he was a little cleaner off the grab, then he could crack open a whole new world for this matchup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if he had pivot a smash up, this would be a whole different story. I mean, right there, that was the proper DI by Dr. Z right there. I like. Kama going for the down throw. Obviously, want to put Puff towards off stage. Mm -hmm. Doctor Z knew it though. At this percent, this is that percent where the the pivot. Oh man, rest territory, looking scary. <gasps> oh, that was a big air dodge. It's rough for Kama. Be the game. But he gets out. 
downer on the way down. Both these guys like it. What yeah, at this percent, it's even getting a bit too high. I'm not sure if any DI will really give him an easy F smash. And Ooh. calls up a jump for the ledge. Yep. Dang. Dr. Z going up 2-1. Now on match point. Uh, and this is loser's bracket, so if Kama goes down here, that's it for the tournament for them. His life on the line. Is he going to get the revenge? The chance at revenge? Where do you think we're going? Hmm, Kama, he can't go to Yoshi's. I feel like Fountain is a little sus. I think he he went to FD earlier in the tournament. His opponent probably banned Yoshi's in that uh, you know, situation. Uh, it is best so, of five, so no bans. Yeah, yeah, but he couldn't go to Yoshi's because he already won there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. So I was thinking maybe FD, but Stadium. I, I, I would prefer Stadium to FD, so I'm down. I like this. Yeah. yeah, Stadium makes sense. He's still got the five forms to set up uh, F smashes. And he can also set, set up up tilts easily. Ooh, but, you know, we were talking about Dr. Z not taking those edge guards on, on March a little bit ago. But he might be tightening up. Down throw. Narrowly avoiding that up air. Puff up air, really good against Marth in the skies. Obviously, that down air will poke through, but it's such a risk for Marth to throw that out. Not gonna kill. Ooh, nice spacing. Could have been better though. I mean, could have got the tips. Oh. Counter right there. Are you godlike really? counter? That was crazy. Never would have expected it right there. Oh, oh, oh he was hunting for that shield break. That was crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> great. So really buff. Yeah, definitely willing to shield at these higher percents. Grab's not gonna do too much. Although he may be nearing Hancock territory. I really, I'm not sure. I'm not totally sure of the percent. On this stage, though, low ceiling. Yeah, good edge guard. Put the fear yeah, in him right there. Yeah. Dr. Z's really tightened up on his edge guards. This Upwards? Game. Okay, doesn't go for it. God, that down tilt sends so far. <laughs> Popping the balloon. And Dr. Z, not sure what he wanted there. Maybe a power. Right, he decided that he is taking all the stocks this round. Yeah. Oh yeah, right now Dr. <laughs> Green, he's taken three stocks so far. Gets the dash grab. Shane, he's definitely cleaned up the grab game in terms of not whiffing him. He's getting the deep dash grab when he's calling out the crouch. And he's not going for I mean he went for those crazy miraculous shield grabs before, but we're really we're not seeing Dr. Z getting ahead of it. The lead though. Definitely ahead in something. That was a really oh, big yeah. call out on the jump by Dr. Z. Trying to close it all out. In the corner, Shane kinda gives it up. Yeah, Dr. Z is <sighs> all over that. Shane over since with the F smash. Dr. Z is just waiting for Shane to swing. Yeah, Dr. Z's playing pretty careful right now, doing everything what he needs to. Okay, can we get one more in the corner here? He's swinging like a madman. The DI, not great. Okay, early up B, he needed that. Like, halfway through this game, uh, Kama's movement, it seemed like he sped up quite a bit. Ooh. But then Dr. Z managed to keep him in the air for long enough to kind of throw off his rhythm. And since then, it feels like he's been moving even less. He's been throwing out the hitboxes more and stuff like that because he's kind of on the back foot. I feel like we see that from Kama. I feel like sometimes it looks like he just got juiced up and he's moving at the speed of lightning. And then other times he looks a little stuck up, a little trippy, a little, you know, overzealous with the swings. And was that a tournament winner? Let's watch the Twitch replay. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> it was, it was. The tournament winner. Puff, pretty great at sniping those. 